Hi everyone! Um, I have a video response today for uh, my friend Elaine who is getting inspired here on YouTube. Um, that's her YouTube name, sorry. <laughs> She's getting inspired, yeah. Um, she is also having a giveaway challenge right now which is um, the part of the challenge is that you have to make a Christmas ornament in pink because she is doing a pink theme this year on her tree. So um, she made an ornament for my challenge and of course I wanted to make one for hers too. Um, and the first thing that th I think of when I think of pink is cupcakes. So I made some cupcake ornaments for her tree. Um, I found in my stash this um, October afternoon paper from the Good Cheer collection, it's called Sugar Cookies, so it has like all these sayings, I think it's from the night before Christmas, yeah, it was the night before Christmas, um, and it has all the off-white snowflakes on top of it, and the back is um, a pink polka dot, so I thought that would be perfect. I used, well, oh, just one second. I used my little peat pots that I made my other cupcakes from, but um, with my other cupcakes, they I did them as little boxes. But these ones I stuck in so that they're um, they're just for ornaments. And I cut off the rim to make it a little bit smaller, so there's like a uh, not half an inch, but just a little bit under that um, a rim that goes around. And I cut that off and then put in the styrofoam ball. And um, the bottom I did the same. I uh, took the patterned paper and I scored it at a quarter of an inch all the way around. It's two, um, two strips of one and three quarters by twelve of the patterned paper. So when you look up close you can kind of see the words. It kind of makes it look like a stripe and every now and then there's a snowflake. Um, so and then the first layer I used that double layer tool trim from Hobby Lobby and then I used some bloomers trim and this one is um, it's just an offering one that I had from from Walmart in the States so I just glued it and bunched it all together to make it super puffy so it's super cute and then at the bottom I used a little bit of that square trim from the dollar store and I covered the bottom with a uh, circle punch and just signed the bottom of it there. And then to hang it I used a pin. This one I had a little bead on it just like a little mini stick pin and I used some of the tinsel from Michaels from last year. So just hangs like that. Super cute. Frou frou. <laughs> I made two of them. This one got a little messy on the bottom so it doesn't look as great. <laughs> but uh, you're not going to see the bottom. It's going to be hanging in a tree. So there it is. That is my Christmas ornament for uh... <coughs> excuse me for Elaine getting inspired here on YouTube and I'll put the link to her challenge down below. Um, I did want to share with you too, um, I bought this corrugated uh, 6x6 stack and thought I could try the boxes and I did and I actually like it um, a little bit better because what I did was I took one sheet and I cut it down just a little tiny bit um, to use on the bottom and use the bigger sheet on the top so they kind of fit together. So it just overlaps on the back, but it's not as bulky as I thought it would be. And this one actually doesn't, um, it doesn't tear when you score it and fold it, so I kind of like it a little bit better. That's the orange one. I already made a yellow one that Jonathan stole. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure if I showed this one before. This was another one that I had decorated up that I made with the cards. So see how it um, kind of tears? So this does not do that at all. It just bends nicely. So that's the corrugated stack. And then these are the corrugated cards. So this one I just used one of my um, La La Land Digi images. 
and this is um, the new stamp set that I just got and I just trimmed it out with some brown lace from Hobby Lobby and this is a it's a flat um, iridescent white trim also from Hobby Lobby and these are just some um, die cuts from Michael's some old stuff that was in my stash that's it so I'm gonna do some of these and decorate them up and then check out um, Elaine's challenge and give it a try she's just looking for um, pink Christmas ornaments alright uh, leave a comment subscribe if you wish have a great day thanks bye